Hello, welcome back to Always Wandering Art Watercolor Tutorials. Today we'll be painting a rock cliff. So grab your cliff notes. If you get hungry, you could eat a cliff bar. It's going to be a cliffhanger. Sorry, I just couldn't resist. Let's paint. In this example, I'm using a quarter inch flat brush to paint in smaller details and switching to a one inch flat brush to paint in the bigger items. It just makes so much sense to switch to a bigger brush while painting in um, broader areas than as opposed to fiddling with a small brush. You might be thinking, why is there a house in this rock painting example? Well, having any sort of vertical, even if it's a house, really adds interest to the painting. Now I'm switching to a half inch flat brush as we start to paint in some of the details as we paint in the shadow side. You may have figured out by now that the light in this example is coming in from the right side. And here as we start to paint in the shadow side, this is really also where we're shaping the rocks by trying to imagine what the rocks would look like on this cliff, but a reference photo definitely helps as well. And as I go through and do this, I'm really trying not to make the rocks all look the same. I'm really trying to vary each one as I go. Otherwise, it might end up looking like a giant honeycomb. Now if you make a mistake not to worry, you could easily be blotted out with a little clean water and a paper towel. Now what this example needs now is a middle value, so I'm going through and adding some burnt sienna, because previously we've had uh, the two extremes, the really light raw sienna color and darker washes, now we have a middle tone. And I'm going through now and pushing the values even more by putting that darker tone in on the shadow side. Just some finishing touches here. And we don't want this little house to fall off the cliff, so we're gonna fence it in. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to throw down some likes. And there you have it.